Hey guys, this is the MTG Noob here doing the first on the channel and for the webpage. I'm doing a deck recap. I did a deck tech and now I'm going to talk about the deck and my thoughts on how it plays out. The biggest thing that I um, found with the deck was that I always seem to want Bonfire of the Damned all the time. So one change I might work on is bringing in at least another bonfire, and as crazy as it sounds, maybe up to four. Now I know it doesn't really go well with the pod theme, but when you think about it, it's it's gearing more toward um, actual creature battles, so that might be one of the changes. Um, I'll go the... Land of War Elves and Birds of Paradise are necessities for getting a turn two pod and a turn three pod chain, uh, turn four pod chain, you know, going up the chain. So I think I'm going to leave them. I was very happy with the Stranger Root guys. Phantasmal images are great because of the fact that you can copy things and get you out of jams. Corruptor was nice, but when I drew him, I wasn't too happy because uh, of his infect damage when I didn't have a pot out. So he's probably not going to stay in the main board. Uh, he's a good green sun zenith target, and he is a good pod target, but I would probably definitely put him back in the sideboard. Deceiver Exarch definitely uh, was underwhelming, but I didn't really play this deck like a straight pod deck. So maybe if I needed to, um, you know, do some pod shenanigans, I would have liked him better. But I, I think, you know, he's got to stay put just in case. I was I was happy with Daybreak Ranger as a one-up. I did face some spirits and stuff like that, so I'll leave that. Borderland Ranger is kind of necessary to fix your mana. I think four pods is correct if you're going to keep the mana dork plan and go for the early pod. If you're not, you would cut some of your mana dorks and just play a slower pod. I like the Metamorph as a one-up. It was good at getting to five drops and copying stuff. Kind of like Phantasmal Image, but it wasn't as weak. Um, Hunt are really good. Some people are shying away from them because of the uptick in bonfires, but I still feel very good about slamming a Hunt Master and then flipping it and just doing all sorts of cool stuff with pod. Like, you can play it and then pod something away to better position yourself, and then you end up flipping your, your Hunt Master, even though you did stuff, you technically just didn't cast any spells. Conscripts was good. It was a nice mize. I'm sure if you saw the game where I, I was definitely behind and losing and I stole the Liliana of the Veil and just basically took the game over there. I really like the conscripts. I probably wouldn't bump it up though. Uh, Wolfier Silverheart is still another Mize. I think you need it in the deck to kind of go big. And Stinger Fling Spider, although in theory seems good, it didn't seem that amazing. Like I never really wanted it. Um, it's good, but it's a little bit slow, so he would probably go back to the board. Inferno Titan's going to be gone very soon when uh, Return to Ravnica comes out, but for now, he still has a home in the deck. I don't think there's a better 6-drop. I mean, Frost Titan's an option, Primeval Titan's an option, but I like Inferno Titan. Green Sun Zenith, I was very happy with the 4. The only thing that I would change about the mana base, sorry, that always happens, is I would probably cut a forest for a mountain if I wanted to bump up the bonfires and potentially cut like a double green card and a single green card. So that's the main view uh, overall. Uh, I hate having a sideboard uh, slot for land. I know sometimes you definitely want that extra land. Um, and I know the pros and people who are better deck builders than me have that spot uh, delegated for that. So I wouldn't really mess with that. But like I said, I would definitely put in the mountain over a forest if I was playing more red spells. Pillar's really good. If you checked any of my standard two mans out, I really would want to bump up because they are so good against opposing um, Strangle Root Geist and Grave Crawlers and Messengers. And if you saw my third match, you'll see what I mean when uh, I probably should have saved that Pillar Flame. Arc Trails were good. I wasn't too impressed. Uh, they don't always get the job done. Something with three toughness just kind of laughs at it. But, uh, you know, it's kind of a necessary evil. I don't think I could play Whoop Flare over it because it would kill the majority of all my guys except for, uh, you know, Metamorph. Ancient Grudge is a one-up seems fine, especially if I decide to put the Corruptor back in the board and the Stinger Flying Spider and things of that nature. Hellrider or the Aggro Plan, I never really 
knew when to bring it in, but that doesn't make it wrong. I think it's fine. Um, I would assume it's, it comes in against control and things of that nature, and when you just want to flat out race and, and be be faster. So like the mirror and red-green aggro matchups and things like that. So, you know, if you have any comments on when to bring in Hellrider, please let me know. Uh, wrapping up, I already told you about the bonfires. I like them. And then uh, Zealous Conscripts were good. I never really knew when to bring in all of them, so if you know that as well. Same thing with Wolf or Silverheart. I wasn't in that situation. But uh, I definitely like the deck. It's way harder to play than I originally thought. I thought I would just pod some stuff and, you know, get there and have a shit grin on my face. Like, look at me, I'm awesome at magic. But the truth be told, I don't think this is the deck for me because it's very... Uh, decision tree based which what that means is you got to really think things through and i end up you know constantly second guessing myself so when you play a deck you want to feel confident in it well this is a post game wrap um of the deck the next deck i'm going to bring you next week is uh, an updated black red zombies list it's not going to reflect m13 just yet but I'm hoping it's going to be pretty sweet, especially after I just got crushed by one. Uh, it made me kind of regain that fire for the zombies. Um, thanks for watching. Please check out the mtgnoob.com. And if you haven't subscribed there, please do. And subscribe here. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.